Aina is telling greetings Rasia Dino Stefari. Salantana Aina is telling greetings Rasia Dino Stefari. There seems to be some confusion in the minds of some of you all concerning many th concepts, and this confusion is not limited to you all. I want to make you think that I'm just saying you all have this confusion, but even I and I, many of us have had this confusion about many different things we've heard, you know, in Christianity and concerning Christ and the Bible. And many times when one's become so-called Rastafari, one's become even Christian or they so-called are born again into some so-called cult of Christianity, one of these denominations, so-called denominations of Christianity, these little break-off, you know, um, versions or perversions of what is supposed to be the teachings of our Lord and Savior, our Master, and our medicine, Jesus Christo. So there's a lot of confusion in one's mind because this is a part of the confusion that we're born into. This thus explains when the Bible says that we're, we were born into a world of sin. We was born into a world of chatiyat, a world that has fallen short of meeting that mark of God or that, 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 that standard of, of righteousness, that standard of truth, and therefore the, the life. This is why death, death has crept into the world and death has crept into the so-called human equation, you know, and the human family. But all praise be to our God, Father, and our Savior, Jesus Christos, for the redemption, you know, and the, the redemption. And unless one's understand really what it is, what is, is, you know, what really is, and, and this is why I want to touch on this point about repentance, repentance, because of the discussion that we noticed we observed on our comments page between a couple of the subscribers concerning certain things that we were teaching on certain ideas they had as well. But then what came up was one particular subscriber speaking about repentance, I say ignorantly, not really understanding what repentance is, but even notes that in their particular comment, saying that repentance to them, you understand? And then what they think repentance is, is that people um, talking about their sins, people basically confessing their sins, but that's confession. See, there's a difference between confession and repentance, and this is something that's very key for us to understand, is the Word. It all begins with the Word. So the first lesson that should be in the church, or any true church, is understanding the Word. Otherwise, how can you say in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, if you don't even understand the Word, if you don't understand the etymology, if you don't understand the language, because this is what the Bible also shows us, the confusion of the language is at the Tower of Babel. You understand? And Babel, or Bab El, means the gate of God, but then from that we get the idea of Babel, Babel, you understand, or Babal, actually it's Babal, which means confusion. You understand, Babal is confusion and Babel. People confuse that nuance right there because they don't really know the word. And in this modern perversion of the teachings of our master in medicine, they never have the opportunity to learn these things. So I'm, I want to touch on this because this is the Senbet Sabbath time, but because we saw that exchange about repentance and what repentance means to certain individuals from a worldly or an ignorant, not a really a natural. The natural man says, well, repentance means to me, and a lot of us say that. But as we learn and we grow, we get to recognize that repentance doesn't mean just confessing our sins. That's confession. That's confession. You know, if I say, well, I did this, I did that, I'm confessing. There's no repentance in me just confessing what I did. So there's a difference between confession and repentance. I, I want you to note this, because many people say, oh, I don't feel I have to repent, or I don't feel repentance means that, you know, I just talk about the sins that I did or what I did that was wrong, or, you know, I, I speak about my flaws or my faults. I don't think that's, you know, that's going to change nothing. What I think, and in my opinion, well, that's honest in your opinion. But your opinion doesn't really save us, and your opinion barely can save, can I save yourself? So, and just...
kind of going over this point just briefly, there's a difference. I want you to note this. There's a difference between confession and repentance. Repentance, if we would take a take a moment and even just study it from the biblical perspective and the Bible that we use, the English Bible, the Schofield Study Bible, the Schofield Study Bible, the particular version, you can go to our books page and see which particular version you can order it through there or you can acquire this from a local a Bible bookstore or somewhere online. But this is a very good version, the Schofield Study Bible version. Now, the first place that we find repentance, at least in the New Testament, is in uh, St. Matthew, one of the first places, St. Matthew, Caduce Mateus' Wengel, Mi'raf Sost, or chapter 3. It's in the ministry of John the Baptist, who was preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and he was saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So he was a preacher of repentance. You understand? But what does repentance mean? If we look at now the Greek, of that. Because most people will say, well, it comes from the Greek, the New Testament part, the coin, the coin of the common Greek. The Greek basically is metanoia. Metanoia means having a change of mind. To have a change of mind, a change of the way you, you see things, your, your opinion, your, your, your thought. I, well, I thought repentance means that, but now that I've learned, I find out that repentance does not mean that according to the one to whom we to repent to, according to his word, his logos, or according to the logic of the King of Kings and his Christ, which is the word, which is the scriptures. Repentance doesn't mean what the world makes you believe, makes believe that repentance means. Now, after the temptation, after Christ was... Uh, as he was baptized by John the Baptist, Johannes Matemku, he went into the wilderness. He was tested by Diablos. And after he overcame that test by Diablos, and that's a very important study and teaching right there because it's something that helps us in our day-to-day, -day, he began to preach, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In other words, he began to preach the very same thing, metanoia. You understand? Metanoia. You understand? Have a change of mind. You understand? Have a change of mind. That's what repentance means. That's essentially what repentance means. And now along with repentance, it's very important for the conscience, you understand, and for the witness to confess. See, some people get offended about confessing to other people because, and I can understand this on a certain level, because a lot of the other people they're confessing to don't even know what repent mean at all. So they're still thinking in the old mind. They may be in a new church or a new religious movement or cult or whatever like that, Yovis, but they have not been born again themselves. So you're confessing to someone who hasn't been born again themselves, so they're still judging you from men and people ways because they have not come into the gnosis or the epigenosis, you understand, the full knowledge of God to even know what the word repent really means. So words have meanings. You understand, and it's very important for us to understand the word because all this confusion that humanity has experienced has been chiefly through the mis application and the confusion and ignorance all based upon the word. So the word is so essential here. And the word in the Greek is logos. Logos. And that word logos in the Greek is where we get the word logic from. So somebody says something's illogical. Do we live in a logical world or do we live in an illogical world? We live in an illogical world. And it's very clear. I mean, if you don't know this world, hey, that's that, but we live in an illogical world. You understand? That means a world that goes against the logos. And people don't even understand the words that they use and the words that are used in this world. And this is where Satan and the evil doers and the men and people that are under that, that curse, you understand, and that profit from that, you understand, this is where they operate from, ignorance. Ignorance. And ignorance ultimately was the original sin. You understand? Ignorance. You understand? Ignorance coupled with disobedience. You understand? Ignorance. Either willingly ignorant, you understand, or just ignorantly 
ignorant. So there's a big difference between repent and confess. You see, repentance means to have a change of mind. And one thing we notice in the Schofield, when we get to chapter chapter 4, verse 17, where it says, From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, have a change of mind, for the kingdom of heaven, the Mangista Samayat, is at hand. It gives us a reference here. There's a reference here. Uh, um, next to repent, where it points us to Matthew 9 and, and, and 13, as well as uh, Matthew 3 and 2 and Acts 17 and 30, which is very, very important. And we don't have, with this time frame, we don't have the time to go into that right now, right here in this time frame, but we suggest that ones look this up for themselves, and we'll take this up in the part two.